Welcome to the fantastic Sofitel Golf de Mogador here in Aswera, Morocco. And we're here this week with the How Did I Do uh, Morocco Match Play Grand Final. It's an amazing venue for a great event. One of the things that we're looking at uh, today watching the players was some of the struggles that were being had on this uh, short par three. This is the seventh hole here on the north course. And as you can probably tell and probably hear, there's a, a huge amount of wind blowing today. This golf course is uh, very close to the ocean. Uh, it's a, a designed and uh, exposed to be played with the elements, with the wind blowing. It's a fantastic place. But we saw a lot of players get onto this hole and this, this tee shot is just to the flag, 119 yards. So for a lot of players today, it's been a very short iron, you know, hitting pitching wedges and nine irons. And as you can see, pretty much back into the wind it's blowing pretty hard still even though it's later in the day now we're going to look at how we play this hole but what's interesting about this is that only the very best players here this week really looked at trying to play some sort of alternative to a calm day shot so one or two players pull out a longer iron try to play some sort of punch knockdown shot and that's really what this calls for so when we look at elements out on the golf course we're really dealing very often especially in the elements we have out here today which is pretty windy we're dealing with the skill part of the game not the technique part of the game so this is an area which if you never practice if you like outside the box a little bit these are the kind of shots that when you're playing on the golf course and you face this, these conditions you can really struggle so it's a 119 yard shot I have in my hand a six iron now on a flat calm day to a par three slightly uphill I'd be playing that somewhere in the region of 165 yards so clearly 45 yards further than what I'm facing now a little bit of uphill quite a bit of wind blowing at the moment but I'm also not going to be trying to hit a calm day shot so I'm going to try and keep the ball flight lower I'm going to try and make a smaller swing I'm going to use my wrists a little bit less and not try to produce as much club head speed and that combination of elements is what's going to really help me bring the ball flight down. So if we think about hitting the golf ball lower, really the simplest way to lower the flight is to use a club with less loft. That will immediately bring the ball flight down. You can then start to just look at creeping the ball back a touch in your stance. But I'm not a huge fan of way back in the stance trying to hit really steep down on to the golf ball because it's very difficult to control your impact position consistently. So we're trying to make as few changes as possible, but go ahead and hit a decent shot, hopefully, using some of the feel, some of the skill that we've acquired through practice and time and experience. So we're going to give this a go. Let's see how we do. Okay, so first thing, tag my game golf unit. We're going to go through the pre-shot routine, start behind the ball, and I'm going to pick a target She's just left of the flag. Let's take that bunker out of play, hopefully. So there's a, a series of trees up on the left-hand side and a couple of little palm cactus-type plants up there. I'm going to pick one of those just left of the flag. Wind's really starting to pick up there late in the day. So I'm going to rehearse a couple of swings. Not a lot of wrist break there. Build a stance. Ball a fraction back, but not too much. I hit that really solid there. Lovely flight. Just towards, just past the flight, just towards the back portion of the green. But really nice solid shot, didn't swing too hard. Great trajectory. Leaves myself about maybe about a 30 foot putt from behind the hole. So let's go see how we do. So here we are up at the green, as you can see. Hit the green, no problem at all there. Uh, pretty pleased with that shot. If we're going to be hypercritical about this, you could say that with the pin on the front, I've now got a downhill, slightly downwind putt. So this is still going to require some care and attention, even though I'm only about 25 feet away here. So I'm going to have to go through the process, reading the green, making sure that we understand how much influence the wind is going to have back on the ball, going downhill, downwind. That's going to make this putt pretty quick. I'm not really going to have the opportunity to be aggressive with this. So even though this turned out to be 120 yard par three, which on a flat calm day could be a pretty straightforward hole, perhaps a birdie opportunity. 
with the tough pad I'm facing, I'm still really in a slightly defensive mindset. I'm trying to two part, hit a good speed part, get out of here without uh, doing any damage to my score. So let's hit the pot, let's see how we get on. So there we have, par three, just a short hole, 120 yards, but made much tougher into the wind, much tougher by having to then face a downhill, downwind putt on what, here at uh, the Sofitel Golf de Mogador in Morocco, are some pretty slick greens. So three on that hole, I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching the How Did I Do Golf Academy. If you enjoy our videos, please share them amongst your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that way you'll get to see all our latest footage first. And for questions and comments, join our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter, HDidGolf Academy. We look forward to seeing you next time.